Hello into tomorrow listeners and viewers. Welcome to this week's ITTV update. I'm your host, Dave Graveline. Coming up, Rob Omanza shows us how to unlock your home without a key by using your finger. And Andrea will join us with this week's Tech Term. By the way, we're getting ready to hit the road again. Join us from Berlin, Germany in our coverage of IFA 2007. Then we head directly to Denver, Colorado for our broadcast from Cedia. The next week, on to San Francisco for the Intel Developer Forum. Then showstoppers for the digital holidays and digital life in New York. Whew. Then, the day after that, we head to Tokyo for our show again this year from SeaTac Japan. All in one month. A lot of travel, but we do it for you to be up to speed with the latest in consumer electronics and technology from wherever in the world we need to go for you. Well, why don't we begin our travel right now? Chris Graveline takes us back in tech history. Chris? Thanks. This week in 1858, the first cabled news dispatch was sent to and published by the New York Sun newspaper. The story was about China meeting the peace demands of England and France. In 1830 this week, the passenger carrying locomotive Tom Thumb was demonstrated for the first time at Baltimore, Maryland. It was the first locomotive of its kind built in America. In 1994, Viacom announced the purchase of Blockbuster Entertainment Corp, the video rental store giant, for $8 billion. And in 1922, the first commercial to be broadcast on radio was heard, which reminds me. This Week in Tech History is brought to you by TigerDirect.com. Now, make sure you log on and check out some of my crazy videos on all the best components and hardware. Your life might depend on it, my friend. How often do you worry about misplacing your house keys? Or do you have an office door that needs securing in a high-tech way? How about programming your finger? Rob joins us now with a special guest to tell us how. Thanks, Dave. I have a guest with me for this week's product spotlight. He's a distributor of biometric door locks for homes and offices. John Lively is president of South Florida Biometric Access. John, first of all, if you can explain to our viewers, what is biometrics and how do they work? For example, we have two demos here for our viewers. Biometrics is access to your home or your office just with the use of a fingerprint. This particular lock here, there's our fingerprint, the turn, and it's open. And it automatically locks within five seconds right behind you. Right, and beforehand we have programmed the fingerprints of the person you want for allow access to your house, correct? Yes, you have a master fingerprint and that person is in charge of who else is in it on that particular lock. And how many fingerprints can you store in these door locks? Anywhere from 50 to 1,000. This particular one is 75 and the other lock has 1,000. That's assuming you have that many friends, correct? That many friends and sometimes you want to do other fingers based on if you're carrying something in. Well, we had one installed here earlier, and the installation was pretty easy. Some of these, my understanding is that they'll let you know who entered when. This particular model can buy a software package, and you can know the exact time that the person enters your home. Great. Well, thank you, John, for joining us this week. That locks it up for us. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Rob. I'll be sure to track who comes in and out of the studio and when now. While Andrea may be a bit tied up, she joins us now with this week's Tech Turn. Uh, thanks, Dave. Uh, I think, guys, a little help here? This week's tech term is what I now am, wireless. Wireless is a generic term that refers to the type of transmissions that do not use metal wires or optical fibers. Wireless is also used to describe how electromagnetic waves carry the signal over part of a communication path. Wireless LAN, which is local area network, allows computers and devices to connect using radio frequencies. There are different ways to provide wireless transmissions and some are infrared, cellular, microwave, and satellite. Different forms of wireless are wireless networking, which simply sends and receives data over distances of a few hundred feet by using wireless routers through Ethernet protocol. Ethernet is the most widely installed local area network technology. That way, you can connect many computers anywhere in your home or office without the need of wires. There's also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but those we'll learn about on next week's term. And finally, 
What devices use wireless connections? Cell phones, computers, GPS, which we learned stands for Global Positioning System, Satellite, and Home Entertainment System. That's this week's Tech Term, Wireless. Back to you, Mr. Dave. Thanks, Andrea. Glad to know that you're now wireless. Don't forget there's only one more week to enter our cool Into Tomorrow Hot Summer Giveaway Contest. Entries will not be accepted after August 31st, so don't be left out. Visit our website at graveline.com, click on the Summer Giveaway graphic right there on the main page, and good luck to you. We have well over 100 individual items, and you may be one of our lucky winners. We thank you for tuning into tomorrow. Thank you.